This is important. A huge hushed-up conspiracy is about to turn your life upside down in the coming months. The media is not saying a word because it would generate mass hysteria and chaos. However, right now, in this video, I'm going to expose the real truth. This will make even the most tough-minded patriot's blood curl. Because when the sinister agenda is finally accomplished and everything unravels, only those who know this secret information will survive and thrive. Hi, my name is Alec Deacon, and in this short and controversial presentation that will not be up for long, I'm going to expose how a devastating once-in-60-years event, along with corporate greed and corruption, are setting the stage for a social and economic time bomb that will detonate right in the middle of the U.S. I'll reveal how the impending collapse of the U.S. food supply system will steal the food from your kids' tables, leaving them hungry and helpless and forcing them to scavenge for scraps. And I'll explain what you must do today to ensure that you and your family not only survive, but actually rise to the top of a fallen society when chaos rules and communities need someone to lead them. But that's not all. If you stick until the end of this very short presentation, I'll give you a somewhat weird but insanely effective way to build a 5-year, 10-year, or even 20-year stockpile of super nutritious food that the government simply cannot steal from you. Best of all, this still secret method costs you up to 20 times less than you'd have to pay on survival food, literally just a few cents per meal. Like I said, my name is Alec Deacon. You may know me from my website, MyFamilySurvivalPlan.com, one of the fastest growing Patriot sites. Or you may have seen my warnings on websites like WND.com, Infowars.com, or SHTFPlan.com. I'm the guy who's bitterly clinging to his guns and Bibles, like liberals love to say. You bet I am. Because I'm almost religious about my right to be independent, to bear arms, and to be able to feed myself and my family. That's why I've made it my life's purpose to expose to true patriots the hidden dangers that threaten our rights and our very existence. In my latest research, I uncovered three shocking signs that a cataclysmic collapse will happen sometime in the next 18 months or less. I call these signs the three horsemen of the food apocalypse because they bring with them a deadly social and economic crisis with immediate effects on your ability to feed your family. And if you don't act fast, if you don't act now, you're going to miss your chance forever. A chance to finally become self-sufficient and independent. A chance to make your family recession-proof and disaster-proof, while the unprepared zombies will be starving and killing each other over a loaf of rotten bread. The first horseman is greed. The U.S. turned on the printing machine and dumped $2 trillion in the laps of the biggest banks through quantitative easing. The official story is that all this money should go back into the economy to help small businesses and people like you and I. Yet greedy banks invest this money into food commodities like corn and soy because they're way more profitable. So when they buy hundreds of millions of dollars worth of food, the global market takes a double punch. The result is a mass genocide that would make Hitler and Stalin envious. The criminal speculation in commodity prices is causing them to soar even higher, causing food inflation and mass starvation. Just look what happens with food prices immediately after a new quantitative easing is launched. Food inflation has hit the U.S. too, even if you don't see it, because while prices are staying still for the moment, packages keep getting smaller and smaller. 24 slices of cheese turned into a 22-slice package. 3 ounces of salmon shrank to 2.6 ounces. 18 ounces of peanut butter melted into 16.3 ounces. You now get 14 ounces of Lay's chips instead of 16. And the same goes for thousands of other food items. Sure, corrupt politicians will swear on the Bible there's no food inflation, while at the same time mortgaging our children's future. But inflation is everywhere. And it's so dangerous that last year Mexico's former president, Felipe Calderon, practically begged the banks to stop speculating in foods. He told Fox News, Four years ago, more than 90% of the purchases of grains and food came from companies related to production or distribution of grains. Today, more than 40% are operations related to financial institutions. That's four times more speculation by irresponsible U.S. banks that makes everyone's food more expensive, causes inflation to spiral out of control, and forces millions of people to the soup lines. And that's when the real nightmare starts to unfold. That's when the second horseman starts galloping toward the U.S., and his name is Chaos. President Calderon has a really good reason to panic. He knows that food prices are an almost perfect predictor of mass social unrest, and he's afraid that the tortilla riots of 2007 will be back. That's when more than 75,000 of the poorest Mexicans took to the streets after the price of corn for tortillas went from 8 pesos to 10 pesos per kilo overnight. Now that the drought is far worse than anything Mexico's seen in the last 50 years, mass riots seem certain. But it's not just Mexico that rose up against high food prices. Take a look at this chart. That's the Global Food Price Index, along with some of the most violent food riots in the last decade. See the pattern? In 2008, as the food price index was 200, there were bread riots in 61 different countries from Haiti to Bangladesh. 
In 2010, when a massive drought in Russia forced the country to halt wheat exports, millions of Arabs rebelled and created the Arab Spring Revolutions. The September 2012 Benghazi killings have little to do with the Allah movie, analysts say, but with a sudden spike in food prices. And the bottom line is, whenever you have high food prices, you have mass social unrest and people are overthrowing governments. So what's this got to do with the U.S. and with you? Everything. Because lately, not just traditionally poor countries are rioting. First world countries have been the theater of massive public violence, like Greece, the birthplace of democracy, or like Spain, where people are starting to raid supermarkets to get the food they need to survive. The third horseman of the food apocalypse is destruction, and he's hitting right in the heart of America. For the first time in almost a century, America is on the edge of a full-blown social and economic collapse, one that will make the Great Depression feel like a rehearsal. People no longer see the food lines, but they're longer than ever. Right now, over 46 million Americans are living on food stamps, enough to create a 25,000-mile food line that would surround the equator. 20 million of them are children. What do you think people will do when their children look at them with big, sad eyes, saying, Daddy, I'm hungry. You've seen how irresponsible unions killed the Twinkie. That's how fragile businesses really are. And when disaster strikes, all it takes is a few lockdowns of key sectors, and the entire U.S. food supply system will freeze. What's really frightening is, the U.S. doesn't even have to be a war zone for you to be unable to feed your family. If trucks can't haul food across America, or if panicked mobs loot the superstores in your area, your family is left at the mercy of an incompetent government. And FEMA won't be able to help you, because they can't even help themselves. Having no food turns you into a beast. Ever tried skipping three meals or more? It messes with your head, and you'll have to beg, borrow, or steal just to feed your children. During the Great Depression, many children were forced to work in labor farms and sometimes had to resort to prostitution just for a hot meal. Wives abandoned their husbands, hoping that it will be better on their own. Thousands of families fell apart because they lost all hope of surviving together. Yet when food is abundant, you have unlimited options. In a crisis situation, there's almost nothing that food can't pay for. Car broke down and you need a new battery? Food can get you a brand new one from a desperate family. Need someone to chop wood? In a depression, there will be plenty of people willing to work for a meal. When the unthinkable happens, roles in society are reversed. Being able to read fancy spreadsheets might be useful today, but in a crashing society, it will put you at the bottom of the food chain. Adaptability, strength, and the ability to feed yourself and others, that's what makes you a true leader. The bottom line is, if you want your family to survive, you need your own food reserve, and you need it fast. But where to start? Hunting, fishing, or foraging might sound like a good idea until 500 desperate hunters are shooting at the same deer. People forget that game went almost extinct during the Great Depression. A good place to start is a three-month stockpile of freeze-dried survival food. That will set you back around $1,900 for a family of four. But the bigger problem is you simply can't rely on it for long-term survival. When the scenario that I'm talking about unfolds, you'll need at least five to ten years worth of food. And that will cost you as much as a brand new Mercedes. But the truth is, you can get as much healthy, nutritious food as you want at only a fraction of what you'd pay on freeze-dried survival food. Here's what it's all about. While I was doing research for my website, I stumbled on a rather weird technique called aquaponics that the people of Gaza were using in an arid war zone. Among falling missiles and mortars, those people are using this method to feed their families, even if they have no water, no money, no fertile soils, no space to grow food, and no time to do it either. I realized that if these people are using it at wartime, it would be the perfect source of food during an extended crisis. I was intrigued by this aquaponic story, so I asked my subscribers if they could help me with more information. The answer came from 8,000 miles away, from arid Australia. It was an aquaponic success story that blew me away. Battling record-setting temperatures and severe water restrictions, this guy had created his own little backyard miracle, spending 20 times less money on a survival stockpile than most preppers would. From a tiny 300-square-foot backyard, Every single month he was getting around 80 pounds of juicy tomatoes, 15 pounds of bell peppers, 60 pounds of delicious zucchini, 60 pounds of cucumbers, not to mention onions, beets, radishes, spinach, and even some carrots. On top of that he was getting about 700 pounds of fish every single year. This sounded too good to be true. The catch? The whole system had cost him $6,000, and because of the climate specifics, it wouldn't even work in the U.S. That was way too much for what I had in mind, but I knew I was onto something, and a crazy idea started growing in the back of my mind. I would find a way to build this for $1,000 or even less, and to help as many people become self-sufficient and prepared for anything. Eventually, I found an unbelievably easy way to make your own aquaponics that cost three times less than what I was hoping for. But before I get to that, let me explain what aquaponics is all about. 
In simple words, an aquaponics system is a pocket-sized Garden of Eden where fish and plants sustain each other in an almost perfect balance. The plants purify the water for the fish while the fish do all the hard work for you, fertilizing the plants with their waste. You get tasty fish and juicy vegetables almost without lifting a finger. Aquaponics is a happy marriage between the soil-less practice of hydroponics and fish farming. You may have heard of hydroponics. It requires very little space, gives high yields throughout the year, and even NASA is using it in space. Yet it's also complicated to set up, requires a lot of water, and the nitrogen-rich plant food can be very expensive. Fish farming, on the other hand, gives all the protein you need to survive that you simply can't get from tomatoes or broccoli. But it's also impractical and dirty. It creates a lot of waste that's toxic to the fish, and filtering that waste can get really expensive really fast. Aquaponics gets the best from hydroponics and fish farming, with none of the drawbacks. The ammonia-rich fish waste is turned into the perfect plant food, while in turn the plants purify the water for the fish. It's a win-win-win for the plants, the fish, but mostly for you, because there's no watering required, no fertilizing, no bending, and actually no real work. Learning about aquaponics got me really excited, but a little frustrated. It seemed that all the stuff I could find on the internet was either confusing or downright worthless. The books I read lacked essential details or were too academic and complex, and the people I talked to were just weekend enthusiasts who couldn't help me with my goal. But I kept hearing stories about a professor who knew a way to make aquaponic systems just as good as the real ones for just a few hundred bucks. His name was Nate Story, a very unusual Ph.D. and part-time inventor whose main specialty and passion was in designing high-density vertical aquaponics systems. After a few minutes with him on the phone, I instantly knew I was talking to one of the most knowledgeable experts on Earth in aquaponics. I paid Nate for his time and asked him whether he could help me build a simple, inexpensive, yet powerful aquaponics system with long-term survival in mind, and on one more condition. I didn't want any academic mumbo-jumbo. This had to be so simple my 12-year-old would be able to build it. Nate did a lot more than that. We brainstormed together what would make the ultimate survival aquaponics blueprint for the absolute beginner who has zero DIY experience, but he also agreed to show me how it's done, step by step, in front of the camera. I provided the survival and preparedness knowledge while Nate brought his 10 years of aquaponics research and the result was nothing short of amazing, a simple step-by-step -step blueprint that anyone can use to make their own aquaponics system the lazy way. Our total cost? Just $190. That included $40 for a pair of extra hands and $75 on a part that we could have probably gotten for free. We packaged that material into the first ever program on survival aquaponics, and we called it Backyard Liberty, the smart, easy way to food independence. After we finished it, I showed it to a very small, select group of my best friends and readers. Robert said, Alec, I went through the material twice. I can't believe how easy this is. It took me two hours to put the system together, and at every single step, I felt like you guys were there with me to guide me. Olivia said, I now feel some sort of inner peace that I never had before. We know we'll have plenty of food no matter what happens, and before Backyard Liberty, it just wasn't the case. And here's what Max Slavo, the owner of SHTFplan.com, had to say. This is, hands down, the most easy-to-use aquaponics instructional guide I've ever seen. When we talk about preparedness, food sustainability is at the top of the list, and with Backyard Liberty, you get just that. It's a complete homegrown system that will ensure your survival in the event of long-term interruptions to our food supply. Imagine $190 for a system, and then maybe another 100 bucks in yearly costs for a lifetime of healthy, disaster-proof food. It's probably the simplest, easiest-to-use A to Z blueprints that anyone can use to make their own food with aquaponics. No matter if you have no money to spend on building a survival stockpile, no matter if you don't have the time or patience to learn a fun, exciting new survival skill, no matter if you've never built anything before, or if you've never done any gardening in your entire life. Look, when I discovered aquaponics, I knew that I had found a gold mine. The benefits are nothing short of amazing. You hardly need any water. In a survival scenario, when the public water supply system is down or an extended heat wave dried up all the wells, whatever water you have will go towards quenching your family's thirst. The Backyard Liberty aquaponics system uses 10% of the water used in conventional gardening because all the water is recycled between the fish tank and the growing beds, so you never lose water to soil absorption, only through evaporation. That also means you'll recoup your investment fast because you no longer have to pay for water, especially if you live in a dry area. It's probably the only way to grow food in colder areas like New England in the middle of winter. In fact, we shot the video in January and you can still see the snow. Unlike regular gardening, with aquaponics, you'll still have plenty of food in the cold months. Aquaponics requires about half the space you need for gardening. Combine it with a way to grow your vegetables vertically and it takes even less space. 
Palestinians are actually doing aquaponics on rooftops, so you don't even need a backyard. Heck, you can even put one in your basement. Using less space means that it's easier to protect from looters, and also easier to keep it a secret from a nosy neighbor. Plus, there's no fertilization required. Just feed the fish, and the fish will fertilize the plants. When all you do is feed the fish for five minutes and harvest vegetables for another five, this gives you crucial time to do more important things in a crisis. While others will be busy dumpster diving for food, your miniature food factory takes care of itself. You'll have more time to protect your family and learn a valuable skill you can barter with or to be the Rick Grimes of your community. There's no bending required. You grow your vegetables in raised growing beds, so if you suffer from a bad back, you don't have to worry about straining it at the worst of times. And now, you too can join in on the miracle of aquaponics. Here's my promise for you. If you can push play and watch a short video once, you have all you need to make your own pocket-sized Garden of Eden and have a perpetual source of food for a crisis. If spending tens of thousands of dollars on a long-term food stockpile is not your idea of preparedness, if you want to be food independent and to put healthy, nutritious food on your table even in a disaster situation, and if you have ever wanted a fun, simple way to build a virtually unlimited long-term stockpile almost on autopilot with only 10 minutes a day of easy maintenance, then this is it. A disaster-proof, recession-proof, drought-proof, year-round pocket-sized garden that will give you all the high-protein, vitamin-rich food you and your family will need in the coming collapse. It's a step-by-step, newbie-friendly program that will take you by the hand and put fresh food on your table in as little as four weeks so you can slash your grocery bill almost immediately without having to wait for a disaster to happen. But most of all, it will give you the peace of mind that comes from knowing that, should a disaster strike, your family won't be at the mercy of others. The Backyard Liberty program is jam-packed with all the knowledge you need to have super success with aquaponics, not in years of trial and error, but in as little as a month. In this program, we'll show the perfect alternative to a $4,000 fish tank. At $75, this is the most expensive part of the system, but sometimes it's even free to collect. It took Nate's story 10 years to refine his method, sweat and literally tears to see it finally work. But in the program, we're giving you our foolproof shortcut so you don't have to make the same rookie mistakes all over again. Aquaponics can be super easy and almost hands-free, but only when you have the whole recipe and not just bits and pieces. We'll show you how to grow big juicy tomatoes that would make your neighbors envious, and wait until they see your radishes, broccoli, or even carrots. Lots of folks are saying that you can't grow carrots with aquaponics, but we'll show you a simple technique that lets you grow almost everything you want. Unlike survival food, you won't have to wait for a crisis in order to enjoy your food. Since I took up aquaponics, I slashed my grocery bill by more than $180 a week. Some people don't pay a dime on groceries anymore. That's thousands of dollars in yearly savings that you can enjoy starting with your first crop. You don't even need a backyard. We'll show you how to grow on a rooftop, in a garage, or even in a basement. Heck, you can even grow strawberries in winter with a special technique we'll share with you. You'll discover three sturdy species of fish that you don't have to babysit, and a popular one that can get you into trouble with the law. You'll get simple step-by-step -step written instructions, but the best part is the video portion of the training, because you'll see every little detail, every single step, on your screen, and you can replay it as often as you want. But you won't have to. This is so easy, I guarantee that all you have to do is watch the video once, and you'll know how to make your backyard liberty system. No fancy jargon, no academic lingo, no technical mumbo-jumbo that will take an engineering degree to understand. One frequent comment that I'm getting is, Alec, this sounds too good to be true. Will I be able to build this even if I'm 70? and not very handy with tools? The answer is, making a backyard liberty system is simple, quick, and easy. Sure, there's some cutting to do, and you might want to have someone help you fill the growing beds, but when we shot the video, we got lazy and paid someone $40 to give us a hand. Fact is, you don't have to build this yourself if you don't want to, but if you choose to do it, it will be the most exciting two hours you've had in years. Your kids are going to love helping you build it, but also feeding and catching the fish. Backyard liberty is the solution if you want to be self-sufficient with aquaponics. It's an A to Z step-by-step, -step, take you by the hand blueprint for having healthy fish and fresh vegetables in just 10 minutes a day. But even though we've tried to make the program as complete as possible, I know that there will always be more questions. That's why with the program you also get 12 months of unlimited email access where you get to ask me and Nate's story just about everything related to Backyard Liberty. That's one full year when you get to ask us as many questions as you want. Oh, and there's more. If you order the Backyard Liberty program today, you'll also get a few exclusive bonuses that will later be off the table if you put this off. First, you will get a special report that puts Backyard Liberty on overdrive and turns it into a backup source of fresh drinking water for an emergency. More than a food factory, with this special filtration system, your family will have hundreds of gallons of fresh drinking water at their disposal, so they'll never be thirsty in a crisis situation, and you won't have to worry about storage. 
Second, you will get Surviving an Economic Collapse, a special report that will teach you real-life survival lessons from recent events, like the collapse of the Argentinian peso or the social and economic meltdown in Bosnia after the 90s war. You'll learn how to barter with desperate people, what to do when hospitals are closed, what the best currency is when the dollar is worth nothing, and a lot more. And third, you will get 27 items you need to hoard before a crisis. Most people get this wrong and stock on the wrong items. Yet minutes after a disaster, stores get looted by desperate mobs and you're left fighting over scraps. This special report lists the absolute essentials that many so-called preppers never even consider, and you'll get it for free when you test the Backyard Liberty training. But before I tell you how you can do that, let me ask you a question. How much is it worth it to you to see your family healthy, happy, and well-fed in a disaster situation and to know they don't have to go through the agony of starvation like everyone else? If this training helps you plug the deadly leaks in your survival plan, if it helps you put food on your kid's table when the world outside is on fire, if it finally gives you the peace of mind you deserve, knowing that you've done everything to keep your family alive in the coming fight for survival, how much would that be worth? You could try buying an entry-level aquaponics system from a retailer. That would cost you anywhere between $2,000 and $6,000 plus shipping. And even then, you'd still have to put it together yourself. Or you could buy some of that expensive survival food you keep seeing in ads. I've shown you how a 10-year supply costs as much as $35,000 and how they can take it away from you in a blink of an eye while you're just staring at them helplessly. The costliest of them all, though, is to do nothing. And I don't want to scare you or anything, but the truth is, most people will just sit on their couches and watch what the corporate media shills decide to broadcast as the reality. And when the coming collapse happens, they'll be just as surprised as they were on 9-11. How would it feel to be stuck in a severe crisis and to look back and know that you could have made your family's life so much easier simply by watching a video for 30 minutes? The possibilities once you absorb the Backyard Liberty program are endless because there's no prepper out there who's willing to open the kimono and share their secrets the way we did it. The Backyard Liberty program will show you how to get your own aquaponic system for just $190. Get fresh food in as little as four weeks. Start saving thousands of dollars on groceries every year and put that money into something more useful. Buy more ammo, get better protection, or just enjoy life the way you want to. We could easily take this material, turn it into an exclusive weekend seminar, and charge $1,000 a seat. With so many rich preppers out there, I know it would be a no-brainer to many. But frankly, I'm a bit tired of seeing these rich guys on TV with their million-dollar bunkers and surveillance systems. They've already got more toys than they need. Backyard Liberty was born from the idea that food independence should be something everyone can afford, because the more self-reliant families there will be in America, the easier it's going to be to rebuild it to what it once was. So I'm not going to ask you to invest $1,000 in this training, even though I know it's worth at least that. It won't cost you $500 either. Heck, it won't even cost you $247, even though my wife tells me that should be the absolute minimum I should offer this training for because it's so valuable. No, I decided to do something that might sound a bit crazy. I'm going to set the price of Backyard Liberty at just $67. But as long as this video is up, I'll let you have the complete program for just $37 today. But the only way to secure your spot in the program is to click the Add to Cart button now. I can't guarantee that I can keep this price for longer, especially since we're giving 12 months of unlimited email support. So don't get mad if you come here in a few days and see that the price has gone back up. And really, the price doesn't even matter. That's because you're covered by Alec Deacon's No Questions Asked Money Back Guarantee for 60 days. Here's how it works. Just say maybe to the Backyard Liberty program. If you have ever watched a short video with followed simple instructions, then you already have all you need to know to have an endless supply of food for your family. We've made this as newbie friendly as we could. Watch the short and simple video. It takes less than an episode of The Walking Dead to know how to make a Backyard Liberty system. You have to be completely thrilled with how easy this is to build and with how much food you're getting for your family. Or simply send me or my staff an email in the next 60 days and I'll give you a full refund, no questions asked. There's more. I'm willing to bet my own money that anyone can build this. So if for some reason you tried to build your own Backyard Liberty system and couldn't, just send me some proof that you at least tried, and I'll refund you whatever you paid on supplies up to $190. There's not one aquaponics training program with a bolder guarantee. You risk nothing. Simply click the Add to Cart button below, enter your credit card details, and you'll receive the full Backyard Liberty package so you can get started right away. So there you have it. In this presentation, you've seen how food prices are taking a double whammy when greedy investment banks are dumping trillions of dollars into already expensive commodities. 
I showed you how, like clockwork, every time the global food price index hits the magic number, mass riots happen all over the world, and how for the first time in centuries the global perfect storm is making a mass scale U.S. crisis not only possible, but also very likely. You've seen that MREs and most survival foods are outrageously expensive, and unless you're rich, it's unlikely you'll ever build a 10-year stockpile just with them. And I've shown you why aquaponics is the best way to prepare, and how you can have fresh organic food 365 days a year without fertilizer, without hard work, and almost without any water. Now the ball is in your court, and the way I see it, three paths lie ahead of you. The first thing is to do like most people, take no action, do nothing, and hope that nothing bad will happen. I would lie if I didn't tell you that I wish you were right. If I'm nothing but a tinfoil hat chicken little, if it suddenly starts raining all over the world, if banks start caring for the hungry nations, if the Fed stops printing money like a madman, I would be happy to have been wrong. But deep down you know that that's not going to happen. The $16 trillion debt, the 46 million food stamp receivers, the aging population, the depletion of all our natural resources, all signs are pointing at something big happening. When Hurricane Sandy hit New York, many were unprepared, even though there were plenty of warning signs. Their families were forced to suffer in the dark with no food, no water, while FEMA was closed down because of weather conditions. Don't be one of those guys. Of course there's a second path, and that is to do it all yourself. That's what I did years ago, when I started seeing the first signs. Would I do it again? Well, consider this. It took Nate's story 10 years of hard work to get to the point where he can explain it all in just 30 minutes. I spent thousands of dollars on survival food when I could have spent it on something else. I tried countless ways to make my own food, only to fail miserably. Now ask yourself, what's the point of reinventing the wheel when you don't have to? All the thousands of dollars you'd waste on useless long-term stockpiles, why not use it for something more important? Aquaponics lets you do this. Not only you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get up and running, but you don't have to wait for a disaster to get dividends from your investment. And if you really want to be self-sufficient and not at the mercy of FEMA or post-crisis bullies, then you should seriously consider path number three. It's the only sustainable shortcut I know to complete food independence. And it's the best food source you could hope for to last you through a decade-long depression. It doesn't need a lot of water, it doesn't require work, and it doesn't require time. What it does need is an open mind. Try the program now. See how fun it is to build your survival stockpile with aquaponics. Experience the thrill of catching your first fish with your kids or grandkids. And know that if the worst does happen, you no longer have to worry about putting food on the table. Remember, you're getting all our hard-learned lessons in a beginner-friendly package, along with unlimited access to us via email for 12 months. You're getting my special report on how to make a water bio filter that will show you how to turn your aquaponic setup into an organic water filter to purify hundreds of gallons of water. You also get a special report on surviving an economic collapse based on real events from Argentina's financial meltdown of 1999. And you get my special report titled 27 Items to Hoard Before a Crisis that will show you what items you should always have in your home before the panicked unprepared ransack the stores. All this without risking a dime. In fact, I'll pay you out of my own pocket just for giving the program a fair try. Years from now, you're going to look back and congratulate yourself on making a good decision. Just imagine, when there's chaos on the streets and people's children are crying because they haven't eaten in days, you're feasting on fresh fish with a side of tomatoes, broccoli, carrots, or whatever your heart desires. That's more than just survival, and your family deserves it. So go ahead, click the Add to Cart button now. I'll be waiting for you with a special message in the members area and another bonus that's too hot to mention here. Still around? Let me answer a few common questions about the Backyard Liberty System and how you can get as much food as your family needs in a crisis in only 10 minutes a day. If aquaponics works so well, why aren't more people using it? There are plenty of reasons for that. First, it's the price of retail aquaponics systems. At $6,000 or more, not many people can afford it. Second, it's the fear factor. Most people think this is too complex to build. They are partly right because most books and courses overcomplicate it. The fact is, aquaponics is easy when you have the proper blueprint. The third reason is that every serious prepper that uses it won't brag about it. But if you're watching Doomsday Preppers, you've seen it already, and it's gaining traction with millions of people. Some Hollywood superstars are aquaponics nuts. Most notably, Shia LaBeouf, the star of Transformers, and other celebrities are jumping on the bandwagon. But for the most part, the patriots using it will never talk about it. How hard will this be to make? This is so simple and easy to build, you'll kick yourself for not taking up aquaponics earlier. The whole thing takes two hours, doesn't require strength, and the most difficult task you'll do is just a bit of cutting. That's all, and really there's no excuse for not giving it a try. In fact, if you don't want to lift a finger, you can still do this. Just pay someone $50 to watch the short video and to put together the system for you. It's more fun than Legos, and many of our clients are saying that their children love it.
How long will this take? It will take you a little over 30 minutes to watch the video, and that's it. Building the system takes under two hours if you're slow, a lot less if someone's helping you. But what about the savings? We created Backyard Liberty mainly with survival in mind, and as far as we know, it's the first training program of its kind. But the beauty of it is, you start saving money the second you harvest your first crop. It all depends on what you decide to grow, but you could save hundreds to thousands of dollars every year. I don't have a lot of space. Will this work for me? Not only it will work for you, but it's probably the best kind of square foot gardening you could hope for. That's because you can make use of any space, not just a backyard, but also a room in your house, a basement, or even a rooftop. There are things to consider if you want to do indoor aquaponics, and we cover all this inside the Backyard Liberty training program. I live in a cold state. Will this work for me? It definitely will. Nate Story lives in Wyoming, and you'll notice in the video that he started the aquaponic system in winter with plenty of snow in the background. In the training, we'll show you how to weatherproof the system, and we'll explain in detail what's the most inexpensive and efficient greenhouse for this, as well as how to properly use the system during winter time. Can I feed an entire family with this? We don't suggest that you rely on any one particular source of food, because if that source is gone, your family is exposed. That being said, aquaponics can definitely feed an entire family and more. Lots of people are doing commercial aquaponics, which means they're actually selling the excess at a profit. The Backyard Liberty system can be scaled to give you as much food as you want, and adding new modules is easy as pie once you understand the simple principles behind how aquaponics works. Will this work if I'm outside the U.S.? Even though we customize the program for the U.S. climate, you can definitely use it in a different country. Just submit a question to support and we'll help you with any issues you may have regarding your specific area and climate. Is this really risk-free? No, it's better than risk-free. First, you're covered by our 60 days, no questions asked, money-back guarantee. If for any reason you want to return the program, you have 60 days to do so. When you invest in Backyard Liberty, you're also covered by our second guarantee. Again, this is something no one offers, and no one probably will, because it's so risky to them. We know how easy this is to build, so there's no doubt in our mind that you too will succeed, no matter how unskilled you are. So in the unlikely event that you can't do it, simply send us some proof that you at least tried to build it. It can be some photos of your work in progress. And not only will we refund you your tuition, but we'll also pay the expenses that you made up to $190. That's how much we pay to build the system featured in the training, and it would only be fair to cover your expenses if you can't build it. But after you watch the video part of the training and see how easy this is to build, you'll understand why we can afford to be so generous. What makes you think something bad will happen in the next 18 months or less? Well, everything I've exposed in this video is a fact that you can easily check for yourself. Just keep an eye on the Global Food Price Index and then watch the news. You'll see for yourself that the pattern is real, that people do riot when they can't put bread on the table. If you remember the 2011 London riots, they too have been connected to the price of food. You think the U.S. government doesn't know this? They know, and they're preparing. It's just that they're not preparing for your survival. When it hits the fan, when FEMA comes knocking at your door to load your stockpile into the back of a truck, they don't want you to cause any disturbance. And even though they can still force you to hand over a share of what your aquaponic system produces, it's always better to have a constant source of food around the house instead of having to rely on a handout. That's why it's important that if you decide to try aquaponics, you do it fast. So why not do it now? Spend 30 minutes on watching a simple video for a lifetime of healthy, life-saving food that will feed your family in a crisis. So go on, click the Add to Cart button below, and let Backyard Liberty give you the peace of mind you deserve. Thank you for watching this presentation. I'm Alec Deacon.